let's watch the sky. Let's see. I'm loving this. To be fair, I... I didn't know that to, uh, we could get uh, with the 8 inch in the day like today with clouds this this beautiful nebula because it's a hard nebula to catch and this is the beauty of EAA no I think no not the, the kids I, I told the kids to, to shut down that it's really the the provider it's christmas all the people it's at home i don't know they do weird stuff a huge advantage that you i want you to remember of EAA. a day a night like today where there are clouds out there there are there are haze out there if you do astrophotography, you will not put uh, your gear outside. You will start thinking, I have to connect everything, lose lo a lot of time, and then it's not worth it because it's cloudy. So astrophotography, out of question today in, uh, in my area. If you want to do, you don't like astrophotography, but you like visual, you will not do visual in a night like this. I tell you why. Because when the clouds are separated by open spaces, even that they, there are uh, heavy clouds, to do visual is good because when the clouds pass, it, pass, we can have nice clear with good seeing within the clouds. But when it's like today, with all covered with thin clouds, it will mess, it will blow up your visual observation. So the only thing that we can do with some decent results, it's CAA. It's watching the sky with a camera and not expecting too much. But at the end, I'm watching this nebula with uh, the 8 inch Dobsonian. Okay, I have a, a Stars on the next, it helps. Otherwise, the nebula will be the screen will be all, all with the nebula and it will not be pretty because of the contrast, the lack of contrast that we have here uh, around the nebula with the background of the sky. But we can have a, a nice detail. We start having nice details. We can Maybe we can't get much more. It's half an hour already. This is a, at the threshold. But the thing is now to understand where is the, the eyes of the, of the monkey and the, really is the head. I think it's upside down. Let me increase this. Let me boost a bit. Tell me if you see the, the, the monkey. It's upside down. Let me, let me, we can do that in sharp cap, did you know? Oh, the sound is great now. We can do that here in sharp cap. Oh, where it is. Um, I never use it, or almost no, don't use it, but we have here a feature. To flip. Miss controls, maybe? No. Where is it? The monkey. <laughs> the head of the monkey. Yes, it's supposed to... We are supposed to, to watch here. A head of the monkey. Where are the eyes? Because... Oftentimes people post the, the monkey head nebula on social networks and uh, I can see the head and they have to explain who, where is the head. Rotate. Okay, I think it's upside down. Where is the, the, the rotation? Capture pro profiles? No. 
Color Space, Capture Area, Bini, eBay, Game, Flip, Flip, it's here, below the game, Frame Rate, Maximum, and now Flip, Vertical. Oh, he doesn't flip. Because it's live stacking, maybe. Because it's like live stacking. I know what I, I can do. Because it's live stacking. He flipped, maybe he flipped, but uh, we can't see. I will save a scene, the snapshot. I will pass it with Topaz Denoise. On. Now it's flawless, the, the connection. They are sleeping. The kids that are the gaming, the gamers that are at home streaming. Now they are sleeping. It's midnight almost here. It's the explanation. Topaz the noise. It's too much. But let's see how, how it works. You hope they are sleeping. <laughs> I know because of my, my kids. They do the same, but I said to them to stop that. Camera on you is blurry. This one is blurry. We see the settings. Uh, and now is good. Now is good. It's better now. Tell me in the chat. I did something. And the shark cap screen also. Mm. All right. And now still bad. Looks all right. It could be also your connection. No, Ray, it could be your connection, because the other ones... Yes, it's good, yeah, it's your connection, it's another problem on live streams. The... Um, the connection of individual people. This live stream stuff, look, don't think, why... why almost nobody does a live stream with... Uh, with this kind of stuff. Because, one, it gives almost no money. The money comes from the videos, not from the live streams. You expose yourself. I'm here exposing myself and my, you see all this mess today. It's the third live stream that I open. Lot of, uh, lots of mess. And uh, I can't fake here. It's myself and that's it. Well, I could try to fake one or two or three or more live streams, but at the end of many live streams, you are smart and you'll catch, will catch the thing. So I prefer to let it go. If you like, you like. If the people that come here for the first time, they don't like, they go out and see other stuff. There's so many stuff to, to watch on the internet. Okay, let's save this. I think the next time, have you ever used fast stone for improving photos? No, I don't know what. Ah, that, that uh, software that you talk, yes. I installed it. 
I install it. I think it's a software for someone that doesn't know any software. It's one of uh, one software good to try from scratch. But for uh, but it was a bit. Uh, it's not very user friendly. I found it. Uh, it was not very user friendly. And uh, as I'm already with the other softwares here, mm, simpler. I just uninstall it. Yes, it's free. It's free. It's real life. Get a beer and let's get together. All friends here, right? It's true. You see, when I kick off uh, the people from live stream, half a dozen went out, were new people for sure. They can't uh, hang, on, hang up like you. You are the best. That's why I like also the live streams. I really love these live streams. And I'm that was because that that's why I was so sad with this situation because I it's really a bet that I have for this 2023 to improve my to invest more my time in the live streams because in the past I I do uh, I did some live streams one once a week maybe around that on average and the other nights I was alone watching the sky well sometimes with my wife and kids but most of the time I'm alone and I'm start I start thinking that as I like to be with you I'm I have more fun sharing the sky with you instead of being alone every night and so we can talk yes it, you will learn and today you people i i want to show you something now with the community pictures we having a, a nice live stream this one i will not delete i will cut the bad parts and i will let it roll we have the monkey head nebula with the eight inch of sun and telescope for the ones that don't know is this telescope <clears throat> The 18-inch classic Dobsonian telescope, F6. Now it's working around, um, let me see. With the Starizona Nexus. It's not dot point, point 0.75. It will be around point, um, 0.85 maybe. It's an F5 today. It's an F5, it's faster. Over this equatorial platform, ZWO 294MC color and cool it camera. So it's not cool it. And the secret weapon, the Sterizon and Nexus, comma corrector and focal reducer at the same time, designed by Sterizon, a great optic company in Arizona. They are Ray neighbors just for a Newtonian telescope. This is designed for Newtonians. Now let's watch the picture upside down. I think next time we'll, I will stream from Microsoft Edge again. It's working fine. Maybe Firefox, I have many stuff on Firefox. Now it's disconnected. Let's see the picture. And then we go to the um, community pictures. Rotate. Yes, I see the monkey head. I will show you. I will show you, hold on. For the ones that didn't see yet. Yes, it's upside down. You are right. Let's see. So the head is like this. Mm. 
More or less this, no? This is the monkey head. Huh? Am I right? Let's check on the internet. Chrome, the Chrome would be also fine to to check this to use to stream. Monkey, head, nebula. That's it, no. Let's see the images. Yes. Let's see one that we can see. It's that one perfect, one of those very good. Uh, this one, this one, yes, it's that. Look, Crayford Manor House, Astronomical Society, Dartford. They have one here that we can see. Very similar. Oops. Sorry. See? And ours? Is this one? Yes, it's this. No doubts. Uh, I think yes. I don't know if I... Let me see. We'll see now the, the community pictures. Let me see. But I don't... Uh, yours already done. I don't know, Ray. But send me. I think you sent in a while ago. Anyway, we could. Now we know that we can capture. I didn't know. I, I didn't capture this um, nebula before, to tell you the truth. But now I know, and you also know, that this nebula, the monkey monkey's head nebula, can be live stack, capture it with an 18-inch top sun and telescope. What I'm going to do is to stop the platform now. was already finished NGC 2174 yes 
but you know to remember numbers to me it doesn't work we refer the numbers in the documents but not uh, i don't remember all the, the, the NEGCs. now let me check the the chat What is the thing that is connected to the finder scope holder? My finder scope? Or that one? Behind me. I have a tree bracket. If you Talking about the 8 inch and the 12 inch that I have also. I have this tree bracket. You have the links at the description of all my videos. This is very nice to hold the, the finder scope and at the same time the tail rod. But to the tail rod, you will need um, a dovetail, a simple dovetail to fix the, the tail rod to the, the bracket. I have on both telescopes, it's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, our imagination can can flow. But I, I call it the monkey's head because it's the the official the official or the most used name. It looks like a battery. What country are you? Tiago, I'm in Portugal. We are streaming from here. Planet Earth. Continent, Europe. Country, Portugal. Region, Algarve. 37 latitude, Bortal 5. So let's see. Community, Community pictures. pictures. Because I will start from the business that I want to show you. From Fred Led. Red Lab send us uh, the Orion Nebula is starting with the 16-inch Virtuoso and uh, the AZ183MC. This is tuned with Topaz Denoise and it's beautiful with the 16-inch Virtuoso, the one that is behind me. Beautiful, Fred. Beautiful, beautiful. Very nice stars. You have everything well set up. A bit here at the right. A bit out of focus because here at the right you have some... This is out of focus. It's very hard to focus because if you notice here... When I have the Virtuos out of focus, it will... Do like this, I notice it. Even that it's collimated. It will do if you zoom only you can see only if you zoom. Okay, now Fred did something wonderful. This is good. I hope uh, Tim is watching also or uh, at least the replay. Yes, we can see the trapezium very well. It's a nice nice picture. Freddy the uh, heck the um, Fred is from France but he managed to speak with in, in English with me and he did something very nice 
let me I forgot to do this to place the um, the slider he did something very nice this is the setup send me also the setup the ones that didn't send me you take a, a picture of it a fancy picture and then connection again and then the, um, I can pull the telescope you use you are using with the pictures you only send me once so it's like it, it has the um, the virtuoso has the the shield the light shield and here it has also a light shield at the top an extra one Cover it with duct tape. This is one hack, but the, the most important hack that I want people from the with the virtuoso watch is this one because it it didn't mess with the structure of the telescope. You know the virtuoso is a, a telescope that has a huge huge problem. It's not a huge problem. It's a cumbersome, which is the helicoidal focuser which is not very uh, easy to handle we usually have to place teflon tape i have teflon tape in mine and it works very well but uh, we miss the features of the good helicoidal focusers like this one from sv bonnie that he bought and he managed it to fit it in the focuser, the old one, without messing uh, with, a, with the old focuser. He just used this, he bought this helicoidal focuser, which is good to work with. It, it will not change the position of the camera here when you turn it on and off to um, up and down to focus. So it's much better, and it's attached. It comes with um, with this adapter. If you choose this adapter when you buy it, it's. Uh, I will show you. He has here, I think. Hold on. It's this one. So this is a SV Boni with a male 31.5 thread, which is basically the one and a quarter inch, but it's male. And it will fit in this female SCT 2 inch, 2040 Pi, that comes, you can buy with this thread, I think. You attach here and then he made two holes to fit the same holes of the telescope focuser it was very intelligent so this is the measure of the one and a quarter so we he could manage to use the old focuser it's here i think he has here duct tape maybe to get it stiffer i don't know if You are here, friend. I don't know if you are understanding. He made some two holes, and now he used these screws to fit this all structure to the old focuser. So this is a solution, the best one I saw until now, without messing the focuser, because if you if this works and he wanted, for instance, to cut here the focuser, he could cut the focuser and bring it down, which would be better in a way that, in like this, to have back focus, he will have, for sure, to move the sliders down. But it's okay. We can see that here. I noticed that this is the setup, and I noticed that he has the sliders down like I do when I use a focal reducer. This is because of the distance that he had 
he had it here. The camera is further away than the original if we are, were using the, the original focuser only. You add the helicoidal, you add spacing, so the camera will be upper, further away from the, the focal plane, basically. So to compensate, to counteract that, he moved the sliders down. Am I, do, I'm, am I speaking right, Fred? I think it's, it's that. He moved this down to have back focus. Three bolt, okay, three bolt. No more focuser, of course. He took the the top of the old focuser and replaced it with this. And this is permanent. I'm speaking without knowing, but it's for sure. It's for sure. I can see here. This is permanent. Yes, yes, yes. Of course. So it's a very, very wise team you can think in this solution because it will not mess for instance if you want i don't want this you take the, this out and you can replace the old focuser top of the old focuser without any problem so for us uh, for until now it's the best wise solution i tell you i saw all the the solutions that are online I think there's no no solution that I didn't see yet. Several different solutions for this focuser, but uh, the best ones imp imply to mess, to do something, to be aggressive with uh, the old focuser. And usually beginners or people like me don't want to, to mess with the focuser. We want a solution without having to cut or to do weird stuff around the, the telescope. And this one is the best one I saw. One thing that, uh, a side note for Fred, you can improve this if you want, Fred. You can, there's adapters, This the, you can take this off if you want. If you, if you use in other telescopes, you will not want to do that. that. You can take this out and this and connect this straight to the, the camera. If it has a M42, if it doesn't have a, 40, a M42, you can, you can place an adapter instead of using these two adapters. It will reduce this size here also. It's an idea. Yes, Carl, the whole top part of the telescope, including the secondary mirror and the focuser, slides out. Yes. The slider is here, you, you'll see. The slider is this. It has uh, here a knob and here another knob, we can see it, you see. These knobs you unscrew this and the slider moves down as it is here. The only thing we have, but this secondary mirror has a, a good uh, size. I think they, they thought on that, the, the manufacturers. You can lay it down a lot without problem. I don't know the threshold. It will be a position, a threshold here. You will not move more, you will not want to move more because it will cut light to the secondary mirror. And we want to grab all the photons. But like this, I used with uh, my re reducer, my focal reducer, like this, more or less like this, and it worked without cutting light. So it's in a safe position. Very neat. The ring is for the camera at the right angle. Ah, ah, okay. 
Your secondary is oversized to allow for a bino viewer. Oh, Ray, I, I have the binos in my head. One of these days, I will do some stuff with bino, bino viewers. But that's visual. Oh, team, you're there. Welcome. Thanks, Fred. This looks a wonderful solution. Can you still use the two-inch nose piece of the camera? Or is it still one and a quarter? Ah, this is one and a quarter, team. This is one and a quarter. But I think you have... Let me see. Hold on. I will open uh, Firefox here. Hold on. Let me search here. Very nice setup here in the, the middle of the snow. I really like uh, this solution. It will uh, not be a problem if you use um, certain barrels, but it, this setup will not allow you for sure to use a focal reducer. Take this in account. Oh, I'm sure that I have here, hold on. Okay. Okay. It will be a, a matter of uh, team. It will be a matter of uh, adapters. Oh, it's the same that I sent to you. It's expensive. One hundred and twenty bucks. Let me see one cheaper one, yes. Tim, the thing is, that one that I sent to you, the two inch helicoidal focuser, can be adapted to this. However, remember that helicoidal focuser costs 129 bucks. This, these one and a quarter, because there are more one and a quarter helicoidal focuser you can get them by 40 50 euros or dollars so in my my Dobsonian that my 16 inch was for now i will leave it like that because i'm getting used to the the old focuser but i wanted to share with you this nice uh, egg that he, he got. See. Okay, so this was <laughs> a bit uh, of a side note to the community pictures. Fred Led with the 16 inch Virtuoso 183 ZW camera. We have here. An an Anaximandros with a 12 inch Dobsonian Rosette Nebula. It's a, a very hard nebula. I can't uh, do nothing with this nebula almost with my 12 inch because it's so large that we can't fit the 12 inch. I had to try though with a Sterzona Nexus. This is a, what you can have without a Sterzona Nexus. The problem with the large nebulas with uh, the 12 inch Dobsonian that he has, and I also have, the problem is that the field of view is very small, and so it will cover, the nebula will cover all the screen, and you will start watching everything red. It will take time until you get some detail, like he had here, you see, but it's just a bit because he can't get more field of view. 
We have to try though with um with a stereo the next to increase the field of view. The camera is the same. This is the 220 the 294 camera. So in terms of field of view, of course, a, a 2600 camera would have a, a larger field of view, but it's super expensive. I recommend the 294 always. The elephant trunk, uh, elephant trunk nebula. It's uh, also a very hard target because it's very faint, but he could manage to to catch it. He has been suffering from the dust in the air as, as long as me, so we can see that uh, orange tint always in the the images like we saw today. This one is a very hard that I I, caught, I captured it. It's the butterfly nebula. It's hard because it's a small very tiny planetary nebula it's very hard to capture this nebula i have a a, a picture of it and uh, the best uh, way to capture these kind of nebulas we will do it live here now that uh, i think we have this hopefully solved the problems with the live stream so we will have it uh, we will do it this one or similar nebulas and the best way to do the work with a 12 inch Dobsonian or other Dobsonian is to do lucky imaging not EAA usually some of them we can do EAA but the most part of the planetary nebulas will be good doing lucky imaging which means doing exactly the same as we do or almost the same as we do with the planets planetary imaging to use highly short exposures less than half a second to get a frame a faster frame rate with a barrel if possible to get a longer focal length and that's the way to go to capture more detail i have this this uh, beautiful picture of it also. This is the same butterfly nebula. This is, the, I think it's in Gemini, as far as I remember. We will try that. That one and the uh, Eskimo nebula also. This is the flame. As you can see, shows the frame to capture only the flame nebula because of the field of view. If he will try to capture also the Orsad nebula, we'll cut the, the the head of the horse so it was uh, the right choice in my situation as we did uh, in other live stream with the 8 inch that has a, a, a bit larger field of view and with the stairs on the next we could fit almost both of them at least the head of the horse was there with this nebula but it's a, a nice capture anyways and the star is very very nice also and here it is the the head horse nebula here with the, the head and this NGC also this NGC is very beautiful it could frame both and I think it's all, always a good option to have this beautiful this is a beautiful nebula it's very similar to the the one that we captured the last live stream the Casper the Casper um, Nebula, like a, it does, like a cocoon here, uh, like it, it's like protecting this, all this dust, protecting the star formation area inside. Very, very interesting. Here is the surfboard galaxy. Faint, faint nebula also is very difficult to, to capture, but it could capture. I don't know why it's mono. Maybe lose the um, the debayering. I don't know. In variable nebula, he was with uh, faint targets. That one I don't know. Let me check in Solarium. NGC 1555. Let's see. NGC 
DC 1555. So it's in Taurus constellation and it has, I will show you. Yes, it's small. It has a magnitude of 17. Hold on, this is a star now. Of uh, six and a half. We have to capture this also. Not now, but I will add it. Bookmark. Thanks for remembering it. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to remember because we have so many things in the sky. It's a, a beautiful nebula to, to capture. And then, then this is it from Anaximandros from Canary Islands. Very nice pictures also. And um, Fred Led, congratulations for your Beautiful pictures. And both of, both of you have shown here live to the world the uh, power of the Dobsonian. Dobsonian power. power. So let's see. Anaximandros is doing very well. Uh, Samir, you are doing very well also. Evolving. We have another one from Astrocade. Astrocade with an 8 inch Dobsonian over an equatorial platform is always also starting this. And this is the Dumbbell Nebula. 60 frames. 240 seconds. Let me see. So, four second exposures is a good start. Very nice, very nice. Now I'm doing a test. The audio is great. Linux. Uh, now I did a, a, another test. I, I have to figure this out. I connected again the streaming to the other platforms to see if it's supposed not to interfere at all. But what constellation is the... This was blocked. Hold on. YouTube, the dumbbell. Uh, it, it's because the dumb, the dumb word. Okay, the dumbbell. It's on Vulpecula. Vulpecula constellation. So it's streaming to other and it's working fine. Yes, it's working fine, fine. Cool. Let me check the connection. Yes, you see, 30 megabytes, 31, 32, yes, 33, we have a good connection. I think it's, it was really the connection. So what I will try to do to play safe, 
will be to stream a bit later. It will not be so good to Europe, to north of Europe, but the, you could watch the, you can watch the replay. I may try that the next time. It was a connection. Linux, I have to tell you something. That thing that I, I, I owe you an apology, uh, an apologizes. Because the last time I was uh, making a joke with Otter Who, it was not for you. I told Linux, but I, I was, it was a mistake. And you were wondering for sure what I was talking about. The Doctor Who joke was for Astronomer Space, that it's not here. He knows what I, I was talking about, the Doctor Who stuff. It was not Linux. But I don't know why. I think because we had a similar conversation, me with uh, Astronomer, and then after one or two hours, the, a kind, the same kind of conversation by email with you. And I think it's for that reason my brain mix you with astronomy. I don't know why. I think it was because of that. So Doctor Who was not a joke for you in the last live stream. Hello Sean, welcome. Good morning. Good evening here. Good night almost. Yes. I will do that because I it's it's saturated at least while the the holidays are are rolling i think the um, yes but it's a joke the, that he knows only he knows what i'm talking about when he is on uh, on come back on the stream i will i will tell tell him this was a, a tough night to me sure what is on the map. So I think the plan will be not to do live streams at uh, after dinner right away maybe. It's not a connection to other platforms because I'm doing that connection it's everything is okay. It was really and probably is nothing to do with cables and stuff. It was really the the bad connection, internet connection. I'm listening very well. The video is fine. Yeah. <laughs> Can't let technology win. It doesn't play fair. It could. It was the another thing that I was thinking could be Bill Gates team doing something to us as we are watching this the real sky <laughs> yes because we are at the south by the way for the people that doesn't know we are streaming from here planet earth continent Europe country Portugal Region Algarve 37 latitude Bortol 5 If you like the live streams and you are not subscribed please do it because it's um, a way to be notified so Astrocade 18 Stopsonian very well you you are doing fine let's this i have here from uh Ver, verish i think it's with an iphone just this i want to show you everything so we tried with an iphone next time use a telescope also verish it's time to buy a telescope i'm not sure what is it and uh, he didn't tell. He didn't tell. So, very ish. We have done. And we have another one from Tenerife. Ray. 5 inch Newtonian and a DSLR. A different setup. 
So this is the M13 Hercules cl cluster with a 5-inch telescope. It's even less powerful than my 6-inch Virtuoso. This is the Hercules cluster. Very nice. And it has also the Trifid Nebula. It's a good start also. Keep trying, every, everybody, keep trying. Sometimes we do a, a two, step, two steps further, one back because of the, um, the weather or other factors that interfere with our EAA. But we should not give up because this is always to move forward. On those nights that we have uh, other factors, bad weather, bad seeing, whatever, we tend to not be so forgiven with ourselves, but we should. We should because uh, there's always something, or the, the clouds, or thin clouds, or raining, or uh, jet stream, or mm, light pollution that day, haze from the sea, from the ocean that I have here, foggy, mist, sometimes we have loads of humidity, now it's dry, yesterday was dry, now it's dry here, but we have dust, another factor, so it, there will, will be always something messing with our observations, but EAA is good to, to handle them because it can handle loads of stuff that visual and astrophotography can because astrophotography people want the perfect everything perfect to have a good result and the planes and the satellites and stuff like that we can clear and reset the, everything and they have uh, other ways to and tools to, to manage that so I will want to do one more thing before uh, uh, one more test is to open this live stream again in Firefox without closing the live stream. I don't know if it will close. No, it will close. I will not do it. I wanted to test Firefox because this is working fine with Microsoft Microsoft um, Edge. I never use that. I al always use. Firefox and this Chrome, which usually works fine, but uh, yes, it's beautiful. Yeah, we all start in in some point. You see, ten inch oven, and now you are a pro. I have the same opinion. Okay, thank you very much for being tolerant with this mess of technology. Hopefully it's now fixed it. The, the connection is by now and we, we have no problem. So it's the, the, the start. Yes, but this one is also stable. So I think it was really, but now the connection is good. At, at the moment, in time, suddenly the connection moved up and it's like that. Sounds great. Yes, the, all these last live stream that I did today work fine. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for being here. I will stream again probably before the, the end of the year I don't know or maybe the day after I don't know I will stream more now I'm solving this stuff of um, technology to have a, a flawless 2023 live streaming with you and sharing the sky with you and doing stuff interesting stuff and nice objects in the sky we have loads of objects to watch and different uh, uh, levels of difficulty to, to to handle it will be fun thank you very much andre what do you think of the ts optics polar wedge 
EQ platform. The other one you recommended last stream doesn't work at 37 latitude. Well, okay, let's check this. PS Optics Polar Wedge. Polar Wedge. Check this before. Ah, uh, it's the Sumerian, I think. This is... Yes, this is the Sumerian. Uh, I can tell you the truth. I bought it when I had only the 12 inch of sun and, and it didn't handle the Dosan and telescope. I think it can handle maybe a, an 8 inch. Even a 10 inch, I think it, it will be a bit jerky. I, I will buy for an 8 inch if it's the case, but buy to a shop that you can return if it didn't work after you try, okay? I will send the link, but it's from another store, not, it, it's that. Thanks for the stream. Happy New Year, if you will not see, but probably will. I want to test this and clean this. Thank you very much.